Chairman Phil Gartside claims Lee can stay in the job as long as he likes. Bolton admits it's been tough to take in the news of Sam Allardyce's abrupt departure, but they claim they've got the right man in charge and say it's all set for an exciting new era. We've got these two games, which we am. Um, we need to try and make sure that we um, get our place in Europe. That's first and foremost for everybody. And then obviously because it came in such a as such a shock and such a short space of time, I'll reevaluate it after that. But the main thing is for us is um, to keep the players stable, to make sure that they get the result that we firmly believe they deserve after all the hard work that they've put in over the, uh, the course of the season. When Sam Allardyce came here eight years ago, we had three in the backroom staff. We've now got something like 28. And, uh, you know, there's a, it's a different job. Um, you know, the, the experience is, if you look to the job now as it was, uh, as, it, as it is now compared to what it was eight years ago, um, the previous candidate might not have got the job. I'm fully aware of the um, of what the funds that are available and what we what we can and cannot afford, um, and I think it's always important that you you cut your cloth accordingly. Um, but yeah, I think there's always activity in the market in close season, and um, I think it's important that the club uh, gets involved in that. But I say we 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 fully believe we've got full knowledge of what we can and can't afford. Sammy's got as long as he wants in the job. I said before it's. Uh, you know, the uh, the longer the person's in a job, the more successful they've been. And, uh, you know, I want to keep my record as never having sacked a manager. Bolton are currently fifth in the Premiership and in the running for UEFA Cup place with just two games to go. They go to West Ham on Saturday and on the final day of the season, it's Aston Villa at the Reebok. So, Sammy Lee takes charge, but what's his form in the management game? Lee's former Liverpool captain, Graham Souness, invited him to be a coach at Anfield in 1993, and he was kept in the job by both Roy Evans and Gerard Houllier. It was under Houllier that Lee was promoted from reserve team coach to the first team head coach. He became a part-time coach with England under... Uh, with England under Sven Joran Eriksson in 2001 and eventually left Liverpool to work full time with the national side in 2004. A year later in June 2005 Lee became assistant manager at Bolton alongside Sam Allardyce while continuing with England. In August last year Lee was offered the chance to manage England under 21s on a full time basis but turned it down and left the England setup completely to focus on his role as a coach with Bolton. Well, as a player, Sammy Lee was part of the successful Liverpool team of the early 1980s after joining them as an apprentice. He went on to play for four other clubs, including a three-year spell with Spanish side Osasuna. He retired in 1991 after a brief spell as a player with Bolton. So what now for the man who's left the Reebok? Sam Allardyce plans a holiday in Spain, and he admits he'd have preferred to have left at the end of the season. It's time for Sam Allardyce for taking a break, you know what I mean? I, I have to make big decisions in, in everyday life as a manager. I've made a, one of the biggest decisions I've ever made and once I've made it, I stick to it. And uh, I've always been like that, I've always been my own man and I've made those uh, uh, feelings with uh, Phil clear over long, long discussions who fought extremely hard to try and keep me but I'd already made that decision. I nearly did it last year to be fair. I'd spoken to Alan Kirbysley at great length about him taking a break after uh, 12, 14 years at Charlton and uh, of course uh, that's been in my mind since then and uh, I think it was the right time for me. Sadly a little soon, I'd like to be at the end of the season like I said but uh, uh, doing it now is the right time for everybody I think. How long a, a gap are you thinking about taking? No idea whatsoever, I haven't even thought about it, just uh, about getting away, having a, having a good holiday, hope the weather's good in, uh, in Spain and uh, getting a bit of a tan. Sam made it clear a couple of weeks ago that he wanted to uh, step down for his own reasons and uh, to, uh, w once it was clear that he wasn't going to be persuaded then we started to plan. Did you have much of an indication before that that Sam might be thinking about the possibility of leaving? Not really. I think uh, you, always, uh, you always think that these things could happen but you don't and you, you try and plan as much as you can for it but you know he, he, um, he always said to me that he'd retire when he was 55. And uh, he's 55 in two and a half years' time, so... Do you feel let down by that, in that sense? I'm surprised. I'm not, uh, you, you can't say let down, because Sam leaves a legacy here that uh, you couldn't have predicted eight years ago. And he's, you know, he's done a, an absolutely fantastic job. Um, he's, he's, he's led a team of people and helped build an infrastructure that uh, is envied by a lot of people. And, you know, I'll, I'll you know, be proud, proud of that fact that I've sat at the side of... Sam Allardyce to get there. Did Sam give you any indication that he might have another job lined up perhaps? Um, he said he hasn't. 
Plenty more reaction from Bolton on the way. But now Steve Bruce hopes he'll have money to invest in building the Birmingham squad. Now promotion to the Premiership is assured. The first name on his list is Arsenal's...